Hello everyone, Treeks here, and welcome back to Pokemon Stadium, Gym Leader Castle. Excuse me, I already see a lot of Pokemon that Eli is strong against. <laughs> so I'm putting him in already. But anyway, we are in Gym Leader's Castle, like I was trying to say. And we are in fact at the final gym, the Viridian Gym, as you may know. The last couple of battles were a little bit slower, so I was only able to do four of them in the last episode. But we will finish it today. Okay, let's put in Kim and Molly. And let's finish this gym. Here's the third trainer battle with only the gym leader left after this. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Good choice, my good sir. <laughs> let's hope he doesn't switch him. And let's thunderbolt you. Yeah, he's staying in. Ah! And you are gone. Okay, that's a good start. This is a wild one from the word go. I was promising battles were going to be a little bit slower, but this is not really slow. <laughs> okay, this might, might be more of a problem. He is a flying type after all, but I can't use an electric attack on him. Because he's also an electric type and that neutralizes the super effectiveness. Yeah, but this also doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, that might be a problem. What a I think I need Kim here. Here's a Pokemon trick. Only downside is I can't attack him with Earthquake. Oh, it's lead up King. Because you're a flying type, so ground type attacks don't work on you. What's that? However, electric attacks don't oh, work on me. <laughs> How will this swap affect the outcome? Um, Blizzard then. They go into battle post. I was using fly. Well, in that case, it doesn't matter what I use. Another blizzard. I'm not weak against flying attacks, so should be able to take it. What's this? There, yeah. it's a hit. Not too worried for that. Let's see what this does to you. Big attack. Oop, that's Nothing up apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one is conceding an inch. Oh, uh, this is going to take a while. <laughs> okay. Savage attack. Oh, it's another miss. Fireworks are flying in this After the first Pokemon, I was worried that this battle was going to go fast. <laughs> What'll it do? Good end. I'm not too worried about this battle being fast anymore. <laughs> Okay, let's hit this time. Thank you. Man, this guy's tank. Okay, let's be an idiot. Okay, he also has sky attack. I'm going to laugh if this hits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, I was an idiot. Bike him. Okay, that was not a good showing by my end. Oh, legendary bird versus legendary bird. <laughs> uh, let's go for raw power here. I was going to paralyze Molly too. What now? Please don't miss. Fire flash. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> the intense battle continues. Thank this trainer for having a Zapdos. <laughs> they strike fighting poses. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, the attack Unless he does not hit me. <laughs> Whirling fire flash. There we go. Yeah, it's a hit. A light tap decided the outcome. Yeah, even a constriction move is enough to finish off someone with that low HP. <laughs> oh, it's Pinter. Uh, thank you for being a bug type. I happen to have the a fire type out. <laughs> two to one. Fire blast the this. Battle continues. Oh, he's going to constrict me. What's that? Miss the target. Well, I'm getting lucky with misses. <laughs> 
and I'm getting unlucky with paralysis. <laughs> oh, he'll try again. Of course he does. Yeah, there we go. I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, switching to Eli won't help me here, so... Let's just uh, wait until this wears off. <laughs> What a furious battle! Now, the attack still going on! I'm pretty sure this can last up to five turns. This was the third the third one. The heated battle rages on! Yeah, the here's another one. That's four. There is the hit! Sparks are flying in this heated match! Oh, he uses something different now. What now? Luckily he does. Because that gives me a chance. Finish you off. That? There we go. The moment I get the chance. <laughs> and there goes the battle. Molly is victorious. Okay, just a third trainer. The fact that he has a Zapdos is definitely uh, <laughs> already really challenging, as you might have seen. But he is down. So let's go to Giovanni, the final gym leader. And let's see what his ground types can do. Okay, he has a Persian and a Tauros as well. Besides that, it is indeed nothing but ground types. Oh, oops. <laughs> Polly, I want. And Abraham. Uh, let's also put in Kim. I don't care. <laughs> this is it. The final gym leader, Giovanni. The dawn of ground Pokemon. The challenger has to work hard for the win. Okay, first one's already a ground type. And I should be faster than him, so... They strike fighting poses. I'm not faster than him. <laughs> Whoa! Point drift! Oh, the attack Yeah, you hit. better miss that. <laughs> Surf's up, dude. Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. What a furious battle. Let's do that again. And he has the same idea. <laughs> Whoa! Oops, that's a Screw bit. your one-hit KO moves. Right, that sir. Not going to help you. Super effective. Oh! Is it down and out? Okay, two more. What will the next Pokemon be? But in the last battle. Taking out the first Pokemon also was not that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, it's Persian! Ah, normal type. And guess what I have? <laughs> How will the type difference affect Submission, that? let's go. He's also faster than me. <laughs> what now? The weak part. Okay, I can take that. Let's see if you can take this. Submission going Bam! No! This Pokemon looks Ooh, wrong. we can take this! <laughs> And because of being so heavy damage, my recoil damage is also this a lot more. Back and forth. That's the downside of submission. The more damage you do, the bigger the recoil damage will also be. Let's go down in a blaze. Right. Wow, or let's not go down. <laughs> oh, we both have so much HP. <laughs> Okay, I did not expect Polly would survive the uh, two Thunderbolts, but apparently he did, so... There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokémon! It's not, not looking good for you, Giovanni! Oh, it's Rhydon! Okay, Rhydon. Hopefully I'm faster this time. <laughs> the remaining Pokémon count is 3 to 1. So I can get some the damage in. Has become one yeah, I'm faster. How's that? Let's go, Polly! And there we go! <laughs> Not a single thing! In what is supposed to be the most ch challenging battle of Gym Leader Castle. That was easy. <laughs> there goes the Viridian Gym. Giovanni and his uh, three annoying trainers before that. Taken care of. Now let's go see what our reward is. Receive the key from Giovanni and open the gate to the last castle. There's another castle. 
Say hello to the Elite Four. If you remember Pokemon Red and Blue, you know, if you beat all of the gym leaders, what do you unlock? The Pokemon League. The Elite Four. And you didn't think that was not present in this game too? <laughs> we are continuing even further. The Elite Four is also present in this game. And even more challenging than they were in Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow. Lorelei, Bruno, Agatha and Lance all appear in a single row in the final castle of Gym Leader Castle. So for this castle it's more important than all of the other ones to take the team in that's going to finish this off. Because after clearing this we will earn our spots in the Victory Palace. So no matter what these six are going in. The six that are reserved to beat Gym Leader Castle. Let's go see if even the Elite Four is not able to stop them. Or can they? <laughs> Let's get started with Lorelei, the Ice-type trainer of the Elite Four. And because of that I want Eli in no matter what. And I also want Polly and Kim, everything that works against Ice-types. The challenger now faces the Elite Four. The first opponent is Lorelei. You start off with Lapras, very high HP, water and ice type. Okay, I should be able to take that out in two hits, unless you paralyze me now. What will the trainer do now? Which you do not. A hit. Okay. What a furious battle. This should be good. Super There's one. Oh, is it down and out? What will the next Pokemon be? Okay, next one is Jinx. Oh, it's Jinx. Psychic and Ice type. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Um, let's go try doing this with Kim. They strike fighting poses. Here's a Pokemon chain. Oh, it's Nido King! What do you have? Physical resistance. It's more resistant to I did not plan on attacking you physically, so. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Let's input Rock Slide for now. Ice Punch. What now? No! This Pokemon looks wrong! Okay, that did a lot more than I hoped. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Neither one is conceding an inch. Okay, that is it, not going the way I planned. Oh, ice punch! Perfect day! Oh, it's down! Not a chance. Which Pokemon is coming out? Polly, of course. Oh, it's Polygraph! Super effectiveness is getting the better of me. How will the type difference affect that? Oh no. Oh, what a lovely kiss! Uh, oh no, it fell asleep! Well, kisses are never lovely if they come from a jinx. Asleep. <laughs> Falling asleep is going to make this a one sided fight. Well, at least against Polly, that's not effective. What's that? The Hopefully, she'll slap me awake. It's oh, thank up. you. <laughs> the intense battle continues! Not again. What's this? Thank work. you. Let's go smack you around. There's the attack. Goodness. Only a little bit of recoil. What a furious battle. Now I need something stronger. They strike fighting poses. Oh, you're gonna keep trying to do that, eh? But it doesn't always work. Oh, wait, ice beam. What now? I wanted to input surf. Press the wrong button apparently. Fireworks okay, let's try it again. See down. <laughs> That's where Surf is. What's that? It fell asleep again. Yeah, it was bound to happen again. It's fast asleep. How will this news affect the bat? This, this Jinx is getting annoying now. 
Oh, <laughs> Lorelai also agrees. <laughs> oh, it's okay, the last one is a better ice type. At least I can use fighting moves against you. Unlike it's Jinx, where it actually gets neutralized because of her psychic Pokemon type. This one will be super effective. Okay, I'm not what too afraid this? for a water type attack. That was weak. You should fear a fighting type move. Vigorous attack. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon Okay, two hits should do it. I should be able to take another surf if, if that is what he will use. Next submission should finish you off. What will it do? Unless this is critical, I should be able to take it. The attack yeah. wasn't effective. Okay, goodbye. Submission going down. Super effective. Oh, is it down and out? Okay, at least I can fully focus on the Jinx now. One Pokemon left in reserve. With everything I have left. We're down to the last Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. What now? It's not very effective. Okay, let's finally get a surf in on you. <laughs> right, that's surf. A decent hit. Okay, one more. What a furious battle. She will take me out now, but I have one more Pokemon left after this, so. What's that? Yeah, it's a hit. It's finally taken down. It was a good fight, Polly. You ha you hang on for a long time. <laughs> now it's up to Eli. We're down to the last Pokemon. Any attack should be good enough There's to finish you off. Pokemon Let's make sure I am fast. Now. Quick the attack. Right I want the first move the no matter what here. There, quick attack. Nail the weak there we go. It almost turned into the bane of my existence, but there it goes. And, there goes the battle. and I still win. <laughs> Lorelei already proving to be quite the challenge. <laughs> but she is out. Okay, quickly moving on to number two. I have some time left. Bruno is up next. Let's see what he has. As you may expect, rock ground and fighting types. Polly, Abraham, Kim. The next adversary is Bruno. He is one rugged opponent. Okay, I was hoping for a ground type. For you, I have... Since you're a fighting type. One Base ice beam right coming up. Poses. Here's the first move. Goodness. Okay, that did nothing. <laughs> oh, yes, Hyper Beam. Ah, uh, could have been worse. What a furious battle. Okay, let's still invite yeah. Abraham to this party. Here's a Pokemon. He's going to recharge anyway, so I don't have to fear anything he's going to throw out. Oh, it's Kadabra! All the time in the world to input my psychic. <laughs> it can't make a you move. can't do anything for a while. I know Abraham is really fast, so I'm going first. A psychic flash. That's the weak spot. Okay. Oh, is it down and out? Big fighting type with four arms, and it still goes down. <laughs> the next Pokemon is being pressed. Seriously, why does my champ have four arms? <laughs> oh, it's Rider! Always thought that looks really ugly. How will the type difference affect right on, eh? But still, let's go fight with Abraham. I don't feel like switching now. Unless uh, this does nothing. Oh, that's pretty decent. Abraham can finish this. <laughs> There's the attack! Severe hit! Okay, ow. <laughs> it's a head-on collision. Power versus power. And there you go. What's that? A savage hit! Oh! It's down! Okay, one more. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokémon. The Hitmon Lee would be nice, so I can keep Abraham out. Oh, no, it's Onyx. It's Onyx. 
Big Snake. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Let's go try this strategy again. Okay. <laughs> okay. And there goes the battle! Did not expect that would finish him in one hit, but okay. <laughs> It looks so big and rocky, but it's very weak in its defense, apparently. <laughs> Bruno has been defeated. And 20 minutes, 30 seconds I see on the clock, so... Yeah, let's call this an episode. We only have two more to go, so... I won't be able to finish this off anyway today. Next time, Gym Leader Castle will be finished. Let's see what the final two trainers can do when it comes to bringing a challenge. See you folks next time for the conclusion of Gym Leader Castle. Thanks for watching, and Treeks out.